Welcome to our third video on the uh, National Eucharist Congress. We hope you've enjoyed the first two. And we hope that after watching the first two, you've decided, you know what? I think I want to go. So now what do you do? How do you get there? Well, in the back of the church, we have these pamphlets and they will be a way to sign up for it. You'll also see at the end of this video, a QR code that can you can use to scan and, and take you to registration. As I mentioned before, We've reserved 15 slots. We already have some taken, but we probably have right now at least 10 slots open. There's an initial cost of $305. What does that cover? That's money the parish has already paid, so you would repay St. Joseph's Parish. That $305 covers the cost of running the National Eucharistic Congress. All those speakers, all those people traveling, all the people putting it together, the rent for the huge stadium, that all costs a lot of money, unfortunately. That, that gets you your badge, in other words. In addition, we all have to travel there. We decided here at St. Joseph's not to try and book something all together the same way. Some people will want to fly. Some people won't want to fly. Some people have a car. Some people don't have a car. So we've decided to ask you to do it individually to make your own travel arrangements. What we will do is once we get all our uh, parishioners signed up, we'll have a meeting. We've also reserved 10 hotel rooms. We'll do our very best to make adjustments. Again, if other people need to make some hotel arrangements, it may be the case that we are not staying together. And therefore, to have everybody required to meet at the same place and have the same bus. So we tried to, to build in as much uh, flexibility as possible. But we will have a meeting so we can coordinate as much as possible. Uh, you'll notice in the pamphlet it also talks about the evening uh, revival. And for some people, they may not be aware of what that is. An evening revival will either be a mass or some form of a prayer service. It'll be take place after dinner, lots of music, there's lots of praise and worship, there's lots of ability to just, just enjoy yourself. I think if you've never tried to, or have never been part of this, it, it really will amaze you how, how uplifting it is to your spirit. And that's it, it's, it's a revival. It's a, it, is, it is an uplifting of your spirit. So we wanted you to be aware of that. So we also are making arrangements to put this on the website for this information, because we know most people usually do things like this. They send up by websites. So here's what I, I uh, suggest you do. If you decided you wanna go, check our website, try and sign up there. If you're in church, pick up one of these pamphlets. You can use that and just drop it off or give it to the priest, take it to the sacristy, we'll take care of it. After that, get to, the, uh, get to your website and look up your travel plans. Decide whether you wanna fly, drive, take a bus, whatever it may be, and then uh, uh, make the travel arrangements. And then of course, let us know about it as well on all these things. So that's what we tried to do. We try to make it as simple as possible, as flexible as possible, and as inexpensive as possible for people to travel and get there. So we hope that you will uh, seriously consider going to this. I think this is gonna be a great event. Fran, anything you'd like to say? So I would also like to say, folks, when you've made a decision to go, and I hope you do that really fast, you need to go to the website of the National Eucharistic Congress and go to the breakout sessions and choose your breakout sessions so that you get to see and spend time with the people that you want to see. Um, all of the people that are going to be speakers there are listed. Um, make your choices and sign up, okay? Um, because you don't want to get there and then spaces are all taken, okay? So do it now.